we used to write all our lyrics together, either at my mum's or, or his mum's or whatnot, and I wrote that line. Mm. So when I wrote the Harvey Dunn, he kind of yeah. looked at me and he was like, oh, yeah, 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 sounds good. And then when I went back two weeks later to hear the track recorded when Mega Man called me, yeah. he put Romeo Dunn at the end of it. So I had to do Hype It Up, Whoa. Don't sound as good, does it? <laughs> hype It Up, Whoa. Who does that in South London? I mean, I actually have got a personal problem with Harvey. You've got a personal <laughs> problem with Harvey? Go on, tell me about it. Me and Harvey used to play football against each other. Right. He completely humiliated me. <laughs> Go on, tell us about it. Well, he nutmegged me about four times. Yeah. Uh, Is this true? Yeah. 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 And then one time he went past me, I fell on my ass, I slipped over <laughs> trying to tackle him, and then he sort of just started showboating to the crowd, and everyone started laughing at me. It's a surprise that someone of your size would be outmanoeuvred like that. <laughs> <in my life>. <laughs> <laughs> Probably got the turning circle of an ocean liner. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine you're really good at football. <laughs> I tell you what, you can't tell where I'm going to kick the ball, though, mate. Tell you that <laughs> Great penalty taker. Anyway, <laughs> Romeo, listen, that's pretty serious because Romeo Dunn, yeah. as Tom said, it became part of it's, it's, the it's, slang, and you nicked it. It's been a slogan. I think um, all I can say is wow. Like, wow, well, for the fact that you brought me here today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, wow, well, for the fact that that sounded so believable. Let's get this right. Harvey was not his studio when I wrote the verse. None of this is true. And I don't think he understands the hindrance that this has had on my career. Like, I'm stuck with the name, Romeo Dunn. My mum gets called Mrs Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> So, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me there are people out there that think that you signed off your verse with your full name? It's like, so multiplied by 10 plus 1, Kevin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually me just saying I'm actually finishing a yeah. verse. But the truth of the matter is, do you really want to be done? <laughs> Why, I wait? want to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> This is a PG I'm show. I'm so sorry. So, Romeo, you are saying that this is a complete fabrication? Um, yeah. I was in Iceland what? last night. The supermarket? No. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was in the Blue Lagoon. I had my mobile phone, just taking selfies underwater, as you do. And the phone rang and said, you've been summoned to court. So I've flown straight from Iceland all the way here today <laughs> to hear this. From this guy. So he's in Iceland. Where were you yesterday? Exactly. I was in Butlins. You are the only thing cooler than Iceland. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, wish I, I thought was. you were cool. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Right. No, he's the coolest man. He's so <laughs> solid. He is the coolest. Listen, listen to his voice. I know. Even I fancy him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is an amazing voice. I mean, since you started speaking, seven women in here are pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is phenomenal. It's, oh, it's insane. I'm done.